here's how you can access any Apple formatted drive on your Windows PC. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here, and as a video creator, I create a lot of files, like, like, a, lot of, like a lot of files. I have a lot of hard drives, okay? And especially when Apple moved to APFS, the Apple file system, it made a lot more sense to start formatting my drives in APFS rather than XFAT or FAT32. APFS is designed for flash storage, so all of my SSDs, it makes more sense to format in APFS, especially working primarily on a Mac. But then there's those times when I have to move to my PC. Whether I'm gaming or just working on something, there are times when I pull out my PC. And in that case, I need a way to read my APFS or HFS Plus dr drives on this thing. Here's how you can do it. While on Mac, you can read from Windows formatted drives. Windows isn't the same way. You can't simply plug in your Apple drive and expect it to show up and function. Especially with APFS, there is no way to see, read, write that drive on your Windows PC. And unfortunately, you're gonna need some third-party software to make it happen. There's a few options out there. There's a big one from Paragon that's pretty popular. Personally, I use Mac Drive, and there's just recently been a new Mac Drive 11 that has launched with a fully functional five-day free trial. To be clear, Mac Drive isn't sponsoring this video, it just happens to be the piece of software that I use, I find it works the best, and they just happen to have launched a new version. What's great about this is you just install Mac Drive or whatever software you prefer to use on your machine and you're good to go. You can then just plug in any APFS formatted drive into your PC and it'll show up inside of the Windows Explorer, same as any XFAT, FAT32, or any other Windows readable drive that you connect. This works with HDDs, SSDs, CDs, and DVDs that you need to read or write to on your PC. If you do opt to go with Mac Drive 11 and you go with if you opt to go with Mac Drive 11 Pro, there's even options to read SoftRAID, Apple RAID 0, and Apple RAID 1 connected drives on your PC. Whoa, hey, if I could just pop in for a second, I need to thank our sponsor for this video, VMware, and VMware's Fusion Pro. Fusion Pro easily allows you to run Windows applications on your Mac without having to reboot. You can easily switch between your native Mac OS applications and your Windows applications on the fly for a near-perfect user cross-platform experience. Fusion Pro is also tailored to the professional crowd, thinking developers, IT admins, QA engineers that need to run Linux and Windows applications on their Mac. Things like network simulation for testing latency, jitter or bandwidth restrictions, full or linked clones for instantly duplicating virtual machines, and remote connectivity for VMware's vSphere and ESXi host to enable users to create and manage complex virtual environments. If you would like to try out VMware's Fusion Pro for yourself and run your Windows and Linux applications right there on your Mac, there's a link for it down below in the description. Go ahead, give it a shot, and let me know what you think. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get back to our other content. As a bonus, and this is really why I like uh, Mac Drive 11, is you can actually read SoftRAID, Apple RAID 0, and Apple RAID 1 if you go with Mac Drive 11 Pro. And you can browse and copy files from your Time Machine backups. So you can have your PC or your Mac backed up to an SSD that something goes wrong, connected to a PC, and you can recover files that way. It's super cool, super easy to do. Plus you can create Mac specific drives on your Windows PC, create an APFS volume, move it to another computer, move it to a Mac, to a friend, whatever it is, but you can create those here from your Windows PC as well. While this is really easy to do, I wish there was a simpler way, one that didn't require this third party software to make it happen, but unfortunately just not baked into Windows, so you're gonna need something. Whatever your software of choice is, go try it out. I've linked down to a couple that I prefer and that I trust down below in the description, but it's your call. You guys choose a software that makes sense for you. Let me know your preferences down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, stay tuned. I got a lot more videos with tips and tricks coming your way.